Mutlanga is the chief economist and head of research at Rand Merchant Bank. The firstborn of the ProMets program of Kutwanong Center for Math, Science and Technology in partnership with Investec. I was not part of the program to speak, but every time Kutwanong Investec calls, I stop everything and answer. And it is because of the contribution that it has made in my life. In 2005, I just happened to be selected at school to attend a program called Promets in Dobsonville. But knowing the background where I came from, I understood this was an opportunity of a lifetime. I had no idea who was going to fund my university studies. So I made a commitment that whoever is going to see my metric results will pay. So I paid in time. I paid in attending all classes. So this Friday, Saturday and Sunday didn't start yesterday. It started at the very beginning. And with the help of the teachers, and yes, I see these guys have 100% in maths and science. I could not get 100% then, but I did get 80% and above in all subjects. In part because <laughs> Kutwanong had a formula that works. Metric results came, was in uh, some of the newspapers, and I said, yeah, it's now time for people to pay. I took the newspaper, went to uh, Tatema Bitzela, and I said to him, you said you will make a way if we produce distinctions in mathematics and science. I have six of them, including all other subjects and I want to go to school. Indeed, he called Dates Chohane here at uh, Investec. He took me to Investec. I did not apply for any bursary. I was not part of the learners that went through the formal interviews that Investec did. But when they saw my results, he had to make a way. They funded me to do my bachelor's economics and econometrics at UJ. Undergrad completed in record time as Kutla Nong learners do. Honors econometrics completed top of the class in record time. MCOM financial economics completed in record time. And it so happened that the IMF was looking for economists like junior economists. And usually, to get into the IMF, you need a PhD, nothing less. The interview was a computer, data, and a software called eViews. Can you build an inflation model? Fortunately, because I have worked at the Department of Economics and Econometrics, assisting lecturers, I had built one before. So I did it in a split second. Ultimately, was given the job ahead of those that had PhDs. Such is the contribution that comes or whose foundations is from promise. <clears throat> Kaya Sitole said something outside that you have been all over these places. Kaya, to answer you, it's not just me. You heard testimony that says the engineering department at UCT are also complaining that Kutlanong learners are topping them. The Missy for Education in the Free State also said Kutlanong learners were the only ones that could handle the Beijing or the China curriculum and pace. So it is something that is built into you from Kutranong. 
you might have 10 years to finish but if you can do it in two years why not so when the runway becomes short because i don't want to take five years to learn a thing because that's not how kutranong does it these guys finish the syllabus months ahead of the exams so you extend the runway so to answer you kaya I always extend the runway. In true Kutwanong form, we finish the syllabus before time. And when the syllabus is finished, you do something new. This is a story of a young man who grew up in a township, attending a township school. We did not go to a St. John's. We did not go to a Bishop's. But today we can stand shoulder to shoulder with anybody that comes from anywhere in the world and debates economic policy. With no fear whatsoever, because we know we are capable. Because the impact is quite a lot. It's not just me. We have a national debate of a basic income grant in the country that is dividing society in one way or the other none of my siblings is on the line to get a grant from government because i look after them that's the impact that education makes a lot of the young economists in the industry that i have mentored and taught that's the impact that kutwanung and the funders have made. It is almost unthinkable that I am standing in front of you today given the background. If you were to calculate the probability back then, what's the likelihood I'll be sitting here? If it could be negative, it would, but it's not. It could be close to zero. But not because I wasn't capable simply because I had no chance, no opportunity to access education, to fully utilize my abilities and skills. That is what education does. It unlocks that potential. That is what the money invested poured or invested in Kutwano. That is what the money invested by many other funders unlock in terms of young people's opportunities. That is why if I were to wear my other hat, not as a Kutwanong learner, but also as a Kutwanong board member, that is why we need all your money in Kutwanong. Because you can see the results. You can see the impact. Coach spoke of contributions to national results that Kutwanong makes. Let me bring a different context as an economist. Agriculture as a sector is always mentioned as an important sector in terms of job creation, but it's only 2.7% of the economy. Yet its impact is huge. Kutwanong is giving you more than 4% in terms of the contribution to mathematics and science decent passes. So if we look agriculture relative to the total economy, 2.7 Kutranong relative to national results, 4.4. That's a massive impact. And that is because of the money that has been invested. So if there is anyone that has any shadow of a doubt whether they will get a return on investment, look at me. There are many engineers, actuaries, there's a doctor there, and many other professions within the science and math fields that have been produced by Kutwanong that are not here today but I meet them in corporate. It's many of us and we need millions of us 
So pour in your money into Kutranong. Thank you so much to all the funders. Thank you so much to the visionaries that started Kutranong Tate Mabitsela. There is a saying that says, Behind your dreams, there are lives at stake. So, from your dreams, Datema Bizela, my life, the life of my siblings, the life of my family, the life of many others that look and sound like me, that would otherwise never have an opportunity to be in front of you and say something, has been changed. Don't stop here. There are so many that still need that opportunity. There are so many that still have potential, but without the funding, without the support, their dreams will remain but just dreams. Don't let that happen. Open the checkbooks to Kutwano. Thank you very much. Center for Maths, Science and Technology.